Hi, I'm Isla. Today I am going to review the third G4 episode, The Ticketmaster. Now, just to let you all know before we start, I haven't seen this episode in a while, so I'm literally watching the episode while writing this script. So I'm probably going to run through most of season 1 with these reviews. This, however, will be harder to do when the show gets removed from Netflix! Okay, I am rambling. So, we begin with Twilight and AJ, and Spy Egg, I suppose, carrying apples to the barn, which makes Twilight hungry. When Spike says <laughs> that the hard work is making him hungry, sorry, Twilight should have said a sarcastic line. But then again, this is a show aimed for little girls. They probably won't get it. So Spike eats what could have been Twilight snack, curse you Spike. No, I'm joking. Gets a letter from Celestia and an invitation to the Grand Galloping Gala. Applejack and Twilight are bouncing up and down for this. But I have to admit, I'm with Spike on this one. However, this face is creepy. So there are two tickets, one for Twilight, and one for Spike. No, he doesn't want to go with that look. One for another friend. So Applejack thinks this would be a great opportunity to make money to fix the barn, replace tools, and help her granny. Which I think is very noble of Applejack. I don't remember the barn looking like that in the first episode. Didn't it look like this? Eh. Who knows how far apart these two episodes are. So this is nice for Twilight, so she may invite Applejack. But what's this? Rainbow Dash, who also has reasons to go to the gala. Her comes along. Her reason is to impress the Wonderbolts with her moves so she can impress the audience and get into the team. Does she impressively remove one side of her cutie mark? The look on the Wonderbolts' faces are funny, and her eyes are still not cross yet. So now AJ and Dashi want the ticket, and the ponies with and the pony with the better reason will go. I think Applejack had the better reason to go, honestly. <clears throat> her reason involved helping ponies like Granny Smith, and her business can even help other ponies. But living the dream is also a tempting reason. So due to her hunger, Twilight decides to think it over at lunch. And yeah, due to how much more time we have left, her mind will still be blank. Hopefully there won't be more ponies to make her life harder. This leaves an AJ versus RD Hoof Russell. I wonder who won. So on their way, Pinky comes along and I was just joking. Come on. And I have to admit, this is a cute face. We get a new song, and the song makes me realize that the gala at the end of season 1 looks nothing like how it's portrayed in this episode. This could be viewed as a continuity error, but I think this is nice, since the gala isn't something the main six had all hoped for. Pingy's song and how she described the gala actually makes me want to go. But anyway, Pinky thinks Twilight invited her, even though she didn't say anything. And... Oh, come on! I was joking! Rarity, how could you? But Rarity's idea of the gala seems the, um, one of the most fitting for what we saw at the end. So, Rarity wants to meet the love of her life, him. And I have to admit, this scene is the best scene of the entire episode. It is just so sweet. Despite the fact that Rarity wears nothing, then wears something. The line, they would never guess that I was just a simple pony from the little ponyville, is so great because that was shown in the episode Sweet and Alight. She would see Celestia anyway, since Twilight, the faithful student of Celestia, would be with her. I wonder if him... Has the nephew relationship like what Cadence has with Celestia, and he was taken in as a nephew? And will the hoof and marriage be right after the dance, or months later? Because we wouldn't want another on and Hans incident. Wait, that was before Frozen. This was before Frozen. Uh, never mind. The ending was sweet too. 
After that explanation, I would say that Rarity has a better reason to go to the gala than Pinky. I think Rarity had a reasonable reaction to Twilight deciding to take Pinky, and then... No! The look on Rarity's face, let me tell you, the, the look on Rarity's face it has happened to me before. Pinky looks cute in this scene, too. And... Now Flutters wants to go. She wants to see the flora and fauna that surrounds the gala. Apparently, the flora and fauna are the most beautiful when the gala actually happens. You know, I'm going to rank who has the least reasonable and most reasonable reason to go. The fifth most reasonable is Pinky. Yeah, she will have time of her life going, but all she has to do is make a super fun original party out of her, her, of her own in Ponyville. The fourth most reasonable is Rainbow Dash. She can get into the Wonder Waltz in a very unique way, but the goal is to live the dream, and all she has to do in real life is to sign up for the Academy. The third most reasonable is Fluttershy. The only chance she can get what she wants is at the, at, at its best, <laughs> is at the gala. So it is reasonable, but her reason doesn't benefit any pony. The second most reasonable is Rarity. Let's just say things actually did go the way she daydreamed it. She would be happy, and he would be happy. She would benefit more than just herself, but also him. And the most reasonable is Applejack. Why? Well, because she can help ponies, like Granny and Big Mac. By expanding her business, the ponies who benefit from her business would, well, benefit. Which I'm sure is more than just one pony. Okay, so anyway, the friends bump into each other and fight over the ticket. Twilight just takes Spike. Oh, right, he doesn't want to go. He could have just solved the conflict by taking the ticket. Now, Twilight looks so flipping funny in this scene. Yep, you ought to get their attention. But Pinky is still talking, and what she was saying seemed to have nothing to do with the ticket, which is funny. So, Twy was respectfully stern, which made the ponies leave with a bad attitude. They sure left fast, too. So, poor Twy is having trouble deciding. Cute Twy Twy. She is so hungry, she eats the petals of a flower. Which actually is not so gross for some reason. I can't decide! Yeah, Twilight, we all know, but what about your food? And Spike, of, of course they're not gonna have rubies. Yeah, fries are good. This is a question, Spike. Ponies don't eat rocks. Wait. Okay, so Twilight's getting worried. Twilight gets her food, and the waiter's question is pretty funny. It starts raining, and, well, it turns out that Rainbow is doing Twilight a little favor. So, Twilight asks Dash to close up the rain cloud, and, well, Twilight gets rained on. There goes your food. Yeah, we're not supposed to laugh. That's mean, but I am, I am with Spike on this. I was chuckling when he was chuckling. So, who's next to get favors? Well, it is Rarity, and she's wearing a really cute umbrella. She takes Twilight in, becomes, I think the term is passive aggressive, and gives Twilight a makeover, pushing Spike out of the screen in the process. <laughs> she gives her a really pretty attire. I think Spike is better. I think Spike's is better though. So yeah, Twilight finds out this is a favor. Though it would be fun to see Twilight and Verity enter the gala with those outfits. Applejack's next. Yep, give her lunch. But Twilight storms out really quickly. Eh, background ponies. After the commercial break, number three, Fluttershy does some favors. Spring cleaning. That's nice. It is also nice that Fluttershy was honest, too. Yay! More pinky songs! So yeah, then all of Ponyville finds out about the extra ticket. Ponyville becomes Favorsville, which becomes Chase Twilightville. Baby Spike is adorable. And Falling Spike is funny. Don't have anything to say about this. Here, Clouds, you and your girlfriend can take the tickets. 
When Twilight and Spike come back home, suddenly daytime becomes nighttime. Lock the doors. Then foiled. Not as great of a stand animation error, but whatever. So the friends go easy on Twy, except Ash. <coughs> Twilight gets an apology that makes us all feel good. We get our friendship lesson, and Twilight gives up the tickets. The end. No, it's not. First, is this recycled? Well, almost. Second, funny expression. And third, every pony, even Spike, gets the tickets to the gala. For celebration, the ponies and Spike go to dinner. And well, that's it. This episode's pretty good. There was good humor and good moments and cute moments. Though I feel like the lesson wasn't super clear, though. In the clue and conclusion, I would give this episode an 8 out of 10. Well, that's it, everypony. Bye! And Happy New Year!